a similar thing to what you've just been saying, Mark, about the Solax inverter that had the two inputs, um, sorry, three inputs, two trackers. The we would, We've been looking at the Tesla Powerwall 3 recently, and that has three MPPTs, three trackers, and six inputs. So uh, our designer uh, had an initial glance over it and said, oh, this has got th- this has got six MPPTs. I went, there is no way anyone <laughs> in the UK is bringing out a domestic inverter that's got six MPPTs. So we, we had a little look into it, and it's because each MPPT tracker has two inputs. So those... Because <clears throat> so so uh, Tesla sorry claim that they can their inverter can run at probably about twenty kilowatts of solar PV, which is fantastic for um, you know for a, a system in the UK that's single phase. Um, and when we had a look at it, it was two inputs per tracker, but it means that anything that we if we use both of those inputs, we are the the we are doubling potentially um, the ampage, but the voltage is staying the same. And so you look deeper into that data sheet and their maximum short circuit current per string, this is all from memory, so the figures might be a little bit off. Uh, the maximum short circuit current per tracker, sorry, is 30 amps. So when you look at a data sheet like what we've got here, 